spider bite or a fucking rabies bite from a raccoon or speakers of the mouse like bring bacteria on my face. It's just not how I want to go out. I see all these ones that like that are supposed to be like safe and friendly or whatever, but what are you gonna what are you gonna do with it? Like do you, are you gonna really like most people it'll like, you know, like they don't wanna kill it. And then like they don't want to touch it either. So, so like, if you oh big deal, it's in like this little thing, like the door shut behind it, it's stuck in this box, but like, you're like, you're scared of spiders, so how are you going to pick it up? Are you going to have to go find someone to get this for you, and then like, what are you going to go discard it, like, to the neighbor's house? Because then it'll just be back at your house again. I don't know. It's kind of weird when being a guy that, that uh, might have a stalker, you know? Just because, like, what can you do? I'm thinking about doing a little research and seeing if there's any other animals besides cats that my roommate might not be allergic to, you know, to uh, that hunts, hunts mice and little animals, you know. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe get like a, a mongoose, something like that. But I don't know if those are street legal. I don't even know if they're like legal as pets in the state of California. But this is San Francisco, this is the most livable place in the world, so I could pull some strings, I'm sure, to get some people to protest with me. This is where like you get stuck with a mouse that's alive. Just yeah, see? It doesn't even work. Like, oh, but then like the mouse is supposed to get like the food at the end and then it goes like that. But I've had four of these and it didn't catch shit. This one looks like it'll break my finger. But, yeah. Oh, it's just sketchy. Pre carnata. Pre dated. Alright. Car. I think, uh, oh yeah. I think all these kind of suck. I think the one I have in my room rules the hardest. But it still hasn't caught anything. I just wish uh, maybe some gothic people would move in here and like take them in as pets. Again, because I'm. None of these mice will die because there won't be any cats in the house. No, I think I'm just gonna have to start taking guerrilla tactics. Like, oh fuck, I just ate the cheese I was gonna put on the traps. I think I'm just gonna have to poison them. You know? Speaker's got his name, um, it, it, I think it was from, it was from a girl, but, uh, I forget which girl. Um, we were partying in my room, and, uh, I left to the bathroom, and one of my friends got a camera phone photo of a mouse, it was pretty cute, white, big ears, and then, uh, one of the girls said, let's name him Speaker's because his ears, you know, this and that, and I was like, okay. Like, where'd he go? He's like, oh, I don't know. The balls still in my room. And, uh, so the speaker's kind of stuck. The speaker's might have gone to bed. Can't tell. I mean, sometimes, sometimes I catch myself being bored eating, eating uncooked noodles. Sure, mouse and a scavenger are just fucking big as Christmas. Today I haven't seen any in sign of speakers. I think he's kind of winning though, because I know he's around. Every time I see things on my floor in my room, I get kind of uh, kind of grossed out. It's, I think I'm turning it back into my old ways of being a germ freak about uh, you know touching things that were probably in the, in the direct vicinity of speakers or his friends and. Uh, 
Yeah, so I decided to clean, start cleaning my room a little bit. As you can see, I kind of, kind of do things half-assed. Yeah, I think he's going to have to relocate, or I will. Kicking me out of this neighborhood. It's turf taxing me big time. It's a, little, it's a little disheartening, but you know, in a war there's always a winner and there's always a loser.